what's up everyone one tech traveler here now i've got samsung's latest galaxy s8 plus in orchid gray and i've pretty much been using it since it launched back in april seeing how it handles my day-to-day -day activities as well as a daily driver ever since so i've put together my top 10 features that i like about the galaxy s8 plus counting down from 10 to 1. so let's go ahead and check it out so at number 10 ports and storage whilst a lot of flagships from other companies have decided to do away with traditional ports samsung have kept them around to make it the most comprehensive of 2017 flagships so far on the bottom you'll find the new and updated usb type c for reversible and fast charging additional headphone jack to use all of your earphones and headphones that are wired and of course at the top we have the micro SD card slot to expand beyond the 64 gig that you'll find standard in the S8 and the S8 Plus. And number nine is Samsung Pay. Whilst it's still being released in more markets outside of the US and only releasing in the UK a couple of weeks back, I've really enjoyed using the feature to pay for anything that I'm in shops without having to take out my card and my wallet. Sliding up, and from the variety of cards and loyalty cards, you can go ahead and pay by securing it through PIN or through the iris and fingerprint scanner and then tap it on the NFC reader. At number eight is the fingerprint scanner. So whilst I had quite a few reservations about it flanking the camera and not down below as they usually have been on other phones and also what I've used in the past, it's actually pretty usable, reliable, and quite good overall. Uh, if I hold it how I normally do, which is like so, and bear in mind this is the S8 Plus, which is the larger of the two, you can see my hand actually extends quite naturally, albeit with some effort to use it, but not awkward. And over time, you do get used to it, and it works very well. Number seven is S Health. So whilst it's been available on other Galaxy devices, what I really like about it is it makes full use of the screen estate of the S8 Plus, so your 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio, to really see more information as it's tracking in the background. If you haven't used S Health before, it was really easy to set up, and actually it's always active in the background, which means I can track sleep, running, walking, and also if I'm doing gym exercises, I can actively track that. So very robust, and you can see it makes a full use of the infinity display of the S8 Plus. And at number six is the edge panel. It's actually one of my favorite features of the Galaxy S8 Plus, allowing me to enable and disable panels that I want quick access to and provides additional function without needing to enter an application. So for example, I follow a lot of teams across different sports and it allows me to pull in the teams from Yahoo Sports, the weather, the calendar, but also app shortcuts that I'm always using without needing to go back to the home screen and then final parts which are upgrades to this year include the GIF animation creator which allows me to record on screen and create a GIF out of it and then the snipping tool of either an oval or rectangle that I can resize at all click done and then save and share so that is number six which is the edge panel my favorite feature at number five newest addition this year is the iris scanner it's another way of securing your phone using the iris in your eyes and if you found like me getting a bit frustrated with the fingerprint scanner initially then actually i found setting up the iris scanner becomes a lot easier to use and can actually compensate for the fingerprint itself so all you need to do is once you have it set it up this screen at the top comes up and then i make sure that it can see my eyes and like so it's logged me in. Very easy to use. I don't always have to be up there. It could be when I've got my phone down here. And uh, besides some harsh light outside where it struggles to pick up the, the iris, then it pretty much has been a joy to use. Coming in at number four, it's pretty much what you see in front of you. It's the premium design and feel of the Galaxy S8 Plus. Now for starters, I really love the Orchid Grey. I think it's a really nice color and actually as it reflects in the light it emits a different shade what makes this phone really stand out is the way how yes there's probably parts of it that's familiar to the s7 edge but actually it's a lot more refined and polished to give it its unique sense of feel and design a lot of that stems from the curvature that you see here 
less aggressive than what it was on the S7 Edge and uh, it just means it's a beauty to hold. Not only does it look great, but does it also feel great. Coming in at number three, it is the Android Experience. This has by far been probably the most fluid experience that I've had on a Samsung Galaxy phone, even from the S7 Edge. And it's primarily down to two things, uh, but also a combination of other parts. So the first one is actually Android Nougat 7.0 and of course incremental updates. Um, what it's meant is it's just buttery smooth. It's kind of what Android should be and the experience they can get on the Android pure Google stock experience on the Pixel. It's held up for a while since I've used it. It's also managed all of the different apps that I open, close, uh, activate, put the camera, 4K video, web surfing, pretty much the full works. I've been really happy and really impressed uh, with the S8 Plus in that respect. And there's a very big difference between that and the S7 Edge. So even between last year's and this year's, the user experience has been that much better and I've enjoyed it as a result. The second part is the processor. In the US and China, they're using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. And for Europe and the rest of other markets, it is Samsung's own Sinos 8890. Both of them are octa-core processors, and you can really notice in the way of how it's able to handle and render a system and processes very clean and swiftly. So my second most loved feature about the Galaxy S8 Plus is the camera. As someone who's probably more of an enthusiast uh, photographer and aspiring uh, videographer as well, um, the S8 Plus has been a great pocket camera to have with me on the go and has actually pulled out some stunning photos uh, that I've been really blown away with. HDR photos come out great and is a feature you probably want always on and obviously the wide and open 1.7 aperture means that you're able to get some really good lighting uh, in dark conditions um, but also really good uh, shallow depth of field uh, for a smartphone uh, camera so I'll let you guys be the judge but it's the second most loved feature that I've uh, really enjoyed about the phone and uh, here's some samples of photos and videos I've taken. So that leaves my number one feature which is something that you probably are all thinking and that is of course the display. The beautiful 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio, 84% screen to body ratio on the front means that it's pure eye candy with whatever you're viewing and they do have features which allow you to uh, crop to fit the display so whilst it is not native and cuts a bit of the image out you can see that it doesn't get any better than this. So that was my top 10 features of the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do stay tuned for my upcoming review of Samsung's flagship where I share my final thoughts. And of course, if you have any other features that you really enjoy about the phone or want to ask any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I always appreciate it. And of course, subscribe for more awesome videos like this one. So thanks a lot, guys. I'm One Tech Traveler. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, Keep being awesome.